Welcome to the RJI Futures Lab, where we help you make your organization more innovative. I'm Ruben Stern. This week, apps for collaborative mobile video and a tool to help your audience follow ongoing stories. Now that smartphones have put video cameras in the hands of nearly everyone, mobile apps are making it easy to combine footage from multiple users. The Futures Lab's Gabriel Jefferson walks us through a few of the options for making collaborative videos. There are several companies working to push collaborative video forward. Snapchat is perhaps the most well-known. Users add a video to an event or location story, then Snapchat compiles the videos together to create one story with different points of view that all users can watch. It has become a very popular feature. So much so that ad placement is now being implemented into the stories. But a startup called Peep Squeeze is trying to get into the collaborative video game as well. Using the camera on your phone, you basically record a message in under 20 seconds and you invite your friends to add to it and then you're done. Um, Peep Squeeze automatically connects the videos together to create one video. We do have an option to where a user can set a date for when this video is due if it's for an event and everyone who's invited to the video will be notified that you have only another 48 hours before this video is released. But even, even at that date, you could still add to it. So there, there is that in place to at least try to encourage people to hit a deadline. A deadline? That's a word used in newsrooms. Well, Martinez Vargas believes news organizations can take advantage of this tool as well. Besides just having fun, doing cat montages, doing events for like birthdays, um, you know, it can also be used like, let's say there's a, a bus crash in the middle of downtown and, you know, if everyone had the app and they shot it, you know, you could get all the angles of coverage to quickly, you know, crowdsource what's happening. This could be quite useful, but Peep Squeeze is just beginning. They don't have as many features as some other popular collaborative video companies like Jump Cam and Mixbit. Jump Cam is an app that lets users shoot a video and then invite friends to add to it. Up to 30 different 10 second clips are automatically added all together by Jump Cam. The creator can add effects, music, and change the order after as well. Mixbit is both an app and a website where a user can make a video by creating a private or open collaboration with up to 256 clips. Users can add photos, 16 second long videos, and chat with each other about the project. Then the creator modifies and edits the video through the app. If a newsroom started a collaborative video using Peep Squeeze, they would not be able to remove user contributions to the video. However, both Jump Cam and Mixbit would give them the ability to do so. For the Futures Lab, this is Gabriel Jefferson. Collaborative videos made with Snapchat can only be viewed within the app, while videos made with Peep Squeeze, Mixbit, and Jump Cam can be shared through social media or downloaded and used anywhere. You'll find more information about the apps along with this video. Mobile apps like Circa have pioneered new ways to keep readers updated on specific stories that play out over several days or weeks. Now a startup called Contextly is offering a tool that lets publishers add a similar function into their websites. Contextly's follow-up button allows readers to opt in to updates about ongoing stories. Essentially, it's a button that uh, one of our publishers can put on any of their stories um, that allows a reader to say, I want to get more stories like this. To sign up to follow a story, a reader enters an email address. From there, notifications of new story updates are sent to the user's inbox. So for instance, if there's a kind of a breaking news story or you're interested in, uh, say, Barbara Boxer is not going to run for Senate in California, a big story in California, you can follow that. And that has a nice storyline. And so we can give you, for the next nine months, updates on that story. And you don't have to go back to the site to figure out what's going on with that. It's up to the publisher to choose which stories get the follow-up treatment. Certain stories uh, make a lot of sense as a storyline, right? So something that's about science, technology, politics, crime, all those things, like things that feel very newsy, right? Uh, this works really well on. You can uh, remove a button from a story or add a button to a story, but you know, the general idea is you, the publisher shouldn't have to do anything, right? Single says his technology can determine which stories within a storyline are the most relevant to include in the follow-up. As for what it takes to implement the button, 
We have a native integrations for WordPress and Drupal. Um, so those are like super easy install and that takes 10, 15 minutes. And then we can work with um, if a publisher has their own proprietary system or uh, something homegrown. Another feature Contextly offers is something called the backstory, a timeline of older stories that provide related context. And that's it for this report from the RJI Futures Lab. I'm Ruben Stern. We'll see you in the future. Thank <music> you.